Another reminder that next Saturday night, ooh, you saw the fire in Crush's eyes. Next Saturday night, Crush and Playboy Buddy Rose in a virtual war out there in the ring. Man, oh man. And that will not be on TV, so get your tickets early. Let's run to the ring now and join Don Owen as he makes the announcement. Our next action. And uh, be at the, all day tomorrow at the flea market here in the sports arena and all week at the Marine flea market. And uh, also at Piper's Pit Stop. Tickets are on sale and you can make reservations by calling those places. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 260 pounds from Texas, the Dirty White Boy. His opponent in this corner, 238 pounds, also from Texas, the sensational Steve Dahl. Dirty White Boy and Steve Dahl. Uh, if you were watching earlier tonight, Steve Dahl and his partner, the Grappler, who, by the way, are the new Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions as of last Sunday night in Vancouver, they were attacked up here in the Crow's Nest during just kind of about like that, only up here in the Crow's Nest and the, by the Bruise Brothers. And the Bruise Brothers made off with the belt. The Bruise Brothers stole the Tag Team Championship belt. So uh, that obviously has to be on the mind of Steve Dahl right now as well as Dirty White Boy. Not only on his mind, but all over his body. Well, Dirty White Boy with a whip into the turnbuckle goes Dahl. Here comes, oh man, Dirty White Boy just using Steve Dahl as a tackling dummy in the, uh, in the turnbuckle. Oh, leapfrog and, oh baby, we've got a sleeper hold. We've got the, we've got the Steve Dahl Japanese style patented sleeper hold. And this one could be all over for Dirty White. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes the Bruce Brothers, and they got those belts. And they're attacking Sea Doll again. Look at this. There is no place for this in professional wrestling. Now Sea Doll needs some help. Well, he's gonna get here. comes the grappler, and he's brought in a chair. And out go the Bruce Brothers. Uh, the Bruce Brothers came in with those belts that they, they do not own. And they attack Sea Doll. Look at this, look at that. Look, they got the belts with them. Oh, no. I think they're coming up here in the close now. All right, well, I better get ready. These guys are coming up here. And Steve Dahl attacked again out there in the ring. He had that sleeper on Dirty White Boy. Had him, had him beat. And then he was attacked by the uh, Bruce Brothers. Well, yeah, Steve Dahl is the winner by, by disqualification. But he doesn't feel like a winner right now. He feels cheated and he was cheated by these men right here the bruise brothers those are not your belt once again these belts are back where they belong steve Dahl, grandpa they stole what belonged to the bruise brothers so what happened out here tonight was nothing but a little simple justice you know let me hit something real quick week after week we come out here and all these people are cheering for us supporting us and hollering for us. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, we don't need your stake and support. I got all the support I need right here. Hey, you know, there ain't a woman Bruce in this stinking state that can turn my eye or son. his eye. Ah, we want some pretty women. We go pull down to Orlando right now. somewhere, man. And now, let me, let me hit this last issue. Last week, the week before, and the week before, Don Owens comes up here, right in his mouth, talking about, oh, oh no, here we go again. Steve Dahl, here comes the grappler, and we've got, we've got complete mayhem breaking out in the close test right now. Well, we still got, what are you doing up here? Isn't that pretty? I want you people out there that are listening to me, just because the TV's going off the air, that doesn't mean the excitement's going off the air, Don Cost. And I'll tell you what, Jesse Barr, you want me next Saturday? Do I look scared? When I was out there, I beat the grandpa, I beat your daddy, and I beat you. And if you had your little brother, Sean, I beat him. You bring the dog, you bring the goldfish. I don't care. You got that match. And you know what? There's no such thing as Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Well, I see things haven't changed very much around here. 
Like Alan the Drill said, there is no such thing as Santa Claus. There is no such thing as the Tooth Fairy. There is no such thing as the Easter Bunny. And there is no such thing as Demolition Crush. You people can believe in who you want, but next Saturday we'll find out how much you believe in Crush because tonight he got not a sunburn, but a tear burn, and he's going to be wearing that all week in the next Saturday night. And we step into that ring, and you look out into the crowd, into the bleachers, and see how many people back you up. We'll find out how much they believe in you. As the old saying goes, just when you think you got all the answers, I change the question. Next week, it will not be on television unless you believe in Demolition Crush. I'll tell you, there certainly is a Santa Claus. You can believe in Santa Claus. What you can't believe in is a fair and honest Playboy Buddy Rose or Al Madrill. That you can't believe in. We'll be right back with more after this. Oh, my God.